Welcome back everyone to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest XI S Definitive Edition on Nintendo Switch. Last episode we went off in search of the Rainbow, we boarded Silvando's ship and made it to Octagonia where the Rainbow supposedly was brought, in, brought over to. So we're going to explore Octagonia a little bit, find out what's going on here. And there's Silvando's ship as you can see. We managed to save Eric last episode and defeat Jasper which is, well it was a good Good episode, I gotta say. The long loading screen, but okay. Alright, so we're back here in Octagonia, and the entire area is covered up from the top to bottom. It's sort of an arena area. So let's let's look around. Uh, here's the inn. It looks like. Oh, there's a the bank. One thousand gold. Services are complimentary. What's the point of the services being complimentary if there's no there's no money? How did they run the the bank? Is it just like a an attraction for the for the inn? And there's one room here. Well, there's only enough beds for two of us. Like, Serena and Veronica will have to share one, it looks like. I mean, Eric will have to share one. Ugh. Oh, there's another taco right here. Haunting me. Feathered cap. Let's see if there's anything else good here. Okay, checking more stuff out. It's a very, it's a large area. A lot to explore. Oh, what's this? Everyone's surrounded around something. The prize for this year's tournament is the best ever. They say the mayor broke the bank to buy from some traveling merchant. I wonder if it's what I think it is. He's an expert on female fighters. Oh my goodness. So he's a little bit of a prize a lot. What is this? It. The merchant who bought it from the Sultan of Galopolis must have sold it to the tournament organizers. Does this mean we're going to have to enter the tournament? <laughs> nope. It means we're going to have to win it. Rather win it, of course. So we're going to enter the tournament. That's one of the prizes. And whatever this thing is, the second prize in the MMA tournament. A golden sphere. But this, the rainbow, which will be the first prize, it gives off a mysterious glow. Want to throw your hat into the ring? You've come to the right desk. This is the registration desk. Each fight is between two pairs of fighters and everybody who has to wear, their, wear a mask. Fighters are paired off at random. And what makes it fun is the luck of the draw. Okay. The best prize is the rainbow. Yeah, sure. We'll sign up. I got a number. So let's see. Chief of sees a mask and a draw number. He's number 11. Get it? Because it's Dragon Quest 11. That's why it's number 11, right? Yeah, I see, I see what they're doing. Head up on the third area. The third level. There's an elevator behind him that'll take me there. Hi. I just don't get what's so special about it. It just looks like a fancy branch. The second prize... That yellow orb. It's worth a lot of money. Wait a minute. Is that similar to the red orb that we own? Right? There's a yellow orb and then there's that red orb too. Hello? What are they talking about? Yeah, I got my mask and draw number. I'm not gonna quit. Not enough for a fighter to kick the butt in the arena. You gotta look good while you're doing it. Skincare. My skin's really smooth. It looks like that, that area is closed.
Wish I could go down there. Is there any way to head down? Oh, there is. Maybe we can explore a little more? Oh, there's a dog. Oh, he's barking. Oh, this must be somebody's house. Alright, we'll explore this house and then we'll go we'll go register for the Octagonia match. You gotta make sure to check everywhere to see if there's any good stuff. This is kind of like stealing a garter. Who could wear that? Can she wear it? Garter, uh, wow. Leggy laundry has too sure to raise an eyebrow or two. Okay. Oh, this woman just saw me steal her stuff. Her underwear. Her husband's off. Oh well, I just robbed his house while he's gone, so... Let's just deal with that now. Alright, let's head back up. We can explore later. We really should be going on to the elevator. There was a priest. Some weird stuff's been happening to fighters lately. Everybody keeps talking about it. Uh, that's interesting. I'm sure it's nothing, though. Where's the ele Oh, here's the elevator entrance, right here. And we're off. Got a mask? Yep, I'm ready to go. It's almost time for the fight. Oh, I should have healed up, actually, or s at the end, but I guess... I guess maybe I'll heal up automatically. Alright, so... We're in the arena waiting room. Oh, and here's the, here's the healing area. Give my sword a few more swings. Oh, he's getting nervous. Let's rest for a while to get everyone healed up. Okay, so... Hello? The partner draw is happening in the arena to set up the stairs. Okay, here we go. This is... Hopefully we can win this tournament so we can get that rainbow. Because we need that thing. Ladies and gentlemen! Are you ready? It's everyone's favorite season of the year! Fighting season! Throw open the big book of brawling legends and get ready to write in some new names. The Masked Martial Arts Tournament starts here. I'm really excited for this. Look at everybody in the background, they're all cheering. Now before our fighters get down and dirty, it's time to find out who will be paired with who. Let's hope everyone gets the partner they deserve. Hopefully I end up with one of my teammates, that would be nice. We can team up together. I'm going to draw balls from this box right here and call out the numbers. Each pair of numbers forms a team. Fighters will be counting on you to make the most of whoever you're matched with. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Alrighty, let's get started. And the first number is 11. Fighter number 11, step right up. So I'm the first fighter, huh? Number 11. All right, now time to find out who'll be fighting beside you. Let's see. Who will it be? Hopefully somebody good, like Eric or somebody. Eight. It's fighter number eight. Number eight. Number eight. <laughs> Make your way up to the stage. Oh, hello there. Ciao. 
calmed, I'm so sure. that's my partner, huh? She's uh, she's not bad. Hold on a wee second there. What? Huh? Who's this guy? What does he have to say? I'm not putting this young lass's fate in the hands of a ballyhoo like you and your box of balls. Your box of balls. But sir, sir, it's it's the rules. I mean, I really wonder what he said to him to convince him. Allow me to check that with the uh, official adjudicator. Like he actually says something to like convince him. My mistake, fighters. Seems this gentleman here has a uh, a special arrangement. Number 11 gets another pick of the partner pot. What did he say to him? I really like I'm curious what he said. Oi, what's the big idea? Play fair, will ya? Come on now, folks. Be reasonable. The uh, the official adjudicator has spoken. Now, why don't we see who number 11 will be fighting beside? Oh, hey. They're all pissed off. <laughs> Number seven! Fighter number seven, come on down! Who's that? Looks like I'm up. <gasps> oh wow, look at him. Vince got picked already. Vince. Well, how about that? Number 11's new partner is last year's champion. Octagonia's favorite son, Vince Vanquish! Vince Vanquish, so he's last year's champion. Hey man, good to meet you. Let's break some heads. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too. The draw continues and everybody's paired off. Now all that remains is to wait for the action to begin. Let's wish the best of luck to all our fighters! Okay, so we're teamed up with Vince Vanquish, the champion from last year. That's actually looking good for our favors. We might win with him on our side, because if you won last year, you must be really tough. Let's see what this guy has to say. Now the draw's over, it's so finally time for the fighting to begin. We're not quite ready though, so to reinstall all summits. <clears throat> Want to go rest up? Okay, sure, I'll rest up. I wonder what he's thinking now. A uh, lucky guy getting paired with champ. Well, I guess we could go back into here, right? How'd the draw go? Got a pretty good partner. Oh, free, free, uh, free in stay. Go, let's go rest at the inn. That's very nice of them to give me a complimentary hotel. All right, where's the other? Where, where are the others right now? Uh, can I talk to them? We got lucky back there getting past prepared last year's champion. Well, you know what this means, right? Now you have to win this thing. Let's make the rainbow ours. So me, Silvando, and Eric are both are all going to enter the tournament. Fabulous. I saw how everyone got paired up and he was going to get a good one. Oh, he's got a surprise in store for me. Oh, crap. So I'm going to have to go up against my own friends. Where's Serena and Veronica, though? They're not going to fight. Well, they are. They're magicians. It's not like they would. Oh, there she is waiting for us. Hello. So you can compete on your own. Wasn't I, Veronica? Oh, she's trying to flatter me. Where'd Veronica go? Veronica. 
Monica? Where's she gone? She was here a moment ago. What's all that commotion outside? Oh. Oh dear. I'm fighting somebody. Again. Why don't you learn to look where you're going? <laughs> You were the one strolling around with your nose in the air, you snooty little midget. No, he did not just call her that. What? Oh. That's ridiculous. You walked right into me, you big lump. Didn't your mother ever teach you to say sorry? Cool. You really don't know where to shut up, do you? This is all I need after me bleeding, stinking luck and that bleeding, stinking drool. Don't take it out on the kid, Underdigger. We all have our bad his name is the Underdigger. <laughs> uh, I forget. I forgot his name was Underdigger. That's hilarious. The Underdigger. Who said that? Come here and I'll. <gasps> Ch Champ. <gasps> I get it. You didn't get the draw you wanted, but you gotta roll with the punches, man. Oh man. He's always got his eyes closed. Also. I mean, you're a tough guy. What does it matter who you partner with, right? Well, since you put it like that, champ. Uh, sorry, Squirt. <laughs> I'll, uh... Kev? Uh, Kev, is that you, mate? Kev? Kev. Guess he's running off to see Kev now. Veronica, are you alright? Hey there, partner. You know this little lady? Uh, yeah, I know her. I guess all's well that ends well, huh? Glad I could help out. Alright, gotta bounce. I got kids to feed, then I'm hitting the sack. We ain't gonna win tomorrow if we don't rest up. Is that kids? You take it easy too, you hear? I'll come get you bright and early. So me and Vince are gonna train in the morning. We're like bros now. Where's Veronica? I need to go see her. Eight teams that make it through the first round fights and then losing teams get knocked out. Alright, interesting. If you're taking part, oh, she's hoping I have a great tournament. Well, thanks. Uh, let's let's explore Octagonia a little bit, why not? Oh, here we go. Some weapons and armor. Which means it's time to get more more tougher. This is the weapon shop. She's got a lot of weapons around here. Alright, so let's see what we got here. What goods? Oh, wow. That'll make me tough. Now, the thing is, I don't need to worry about anybody else besides myself because I'm entering this tournament alone. And I'm going to be going up against Eric and Silvando. What if I unequip Eric and Silvando for when I decide to fight them? Because uh, don't I... I know I'm going to fight Silvando, because I already beat the game last year. So, Silvando, maybe I should just unequip everything he's holding. That way, he'll be super easy to beat. Wouldn't that be funny? That that that, that might work, right? A lolly stick. She could use that. But for the purposes of this, I should use a steel broadsword, and I should rework it. Now, let's equip that. The black blade. It was pretty tough, I heard, but this this thing's better for me. Okay, so we have to steal this uh, broadsword now. We should check what kind of armor we can get now. Okay, so gold platter. Oh, that's actually tougher than what I've got. A steel she uh, iron shield, a stone helmet, feather helmet, headband. Oh, wow. Th these are all really good. So what I need to do is I need to sell some crap. Oh wait, I could give that to Eric, couldn't I? I'm, I'm, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Eric equip the bronze sword plus three. Okay. All right, not bad. Now I'm going to sell the bronze, the bronze sword plus two. Make some money off of that. Selling that, selling that, 
Selling that. I don't need that anymore. I don't need that anymore. I don't need that anymore. Sell that again. Sell that. Oh, there's only one of these in the whole game. Maybe maybe I shouldn't sell that one. Okay, so we have some some cash now. Now we have enough cash for this iron shield, which will give us 65, and then there's the iron helmet, which will give us 110, and there's the iron armor. So I'm thinking the iron shield will be good first. I'm gonna equip that. Sell my um, my scale shield. Can't can't sell for much though. What else could I sell to this guy? Pitch pearl, glass frit, moonward bulb. Uh, I'm looking to see what I could sell. I could use that for alchemy, but. I don't know, there's probably more yellow eyes in the world. I guess all this stuff, to be honest. Gold ore. Wait. How much can I sell a gold ring for? I'm gonna check to see how much I can sell the gold ring for, because... 960. Let's try something. We're gonna go into the... Into... Where's the forge, the fun size forge? Important items, the fun size forge should be here. There we go. All right, so let's get cracking. Oh, I leveled up. Maximum focus, double edge bash. Lightning bash, oh, there's some good bashes here. So what we're gonna do is rework an item. We're going to rework the Steel Broadsword to make it stronger. Seven Perfectionist Pearls. Okay, hopefully we can make this thing tougher. Now let's see, Flourishes, we have this double-edged bash which can make us do these both at the same time. But for now I'm going to bash that once. The double-edged bash. Try one more time. Okay, not bad. Hopefully, I, I have enough to, to do this. Okay. One more, should do it. Nice. Really well. And there's not enough. I don't have enough focus. Alright, we'll finish this up. Hopefully that should be enough to make it stronger. Nice. Oh, plus two. That's good. And we'll... Forge an accessory, we'll forge a ring. Actually, we can make gloves. Need cotton top for that. Uh, let's see, ring, gold ring. That will increase my defense a lot. Alright, let's do that. Okay. So far, so good. Left one. The right one. Nice. Okay. Brilliant. Nice. This ring should this ring should work really well. Perfection. See that? A gold rank plus three. That'll give me a lot of defense. Time to leave. Alright, now we'll change our equipment. Give myself that gold rank plus three. Increases the defense drastically. 
Chainmail. If I sell chainmail, would I would that be enough? I need that iron armor to give myself a lot more uh, a lot more defense. Actually, I might as well sell all of Savando's crap he's holding because I'm not going to be using him. I might as well sell that one too. I'm a jerk. <laughs> I'm a jerk for selling my friend's stuff. All right, let's sell that. Sell that Birchwood Boomerang. Selling so much crap. What else could I sell? I could sell a gold ore, but I, w I wouldn't be making my money off off of it. All right, the iron helmet will make my defense, but the iron armor will make my defense even higher than that. All right, I should sell. I should sell whatever helmet I was wearing at the time, and I was wearing the feather cap. What other good stuff can I sell? I could sell uh, Eric's sword and his feather cap. That'll work really well. I'm really a huge jerk for selling all this stuff. Barkley sap, gold ore, lamplight, seed of skill. I need that. Yellow eye, royal soil. Rich pearl. Okay. If I had that more armor, I'd probably be even tougher. Wait, how much can I sell my current armor I'm wearing for? Not much. Not much it looks like. But that should be good for now. I think I should be tough enough to defeat to defeat my enemies at this point. Definitely improved everything. Ah, the church. He's got the biggest collection of fighter autographs. Well, that's impressive. Why is there a kid here? Uncle Men said he'd make a good priest. Alright, I'd like to save. Yeah, I'll save here. Is Vince around here? He said he sleeps here, right? Door's locked. That's Vince's room, by the way, just so you know. He lives in the orphanage because this is where he grew up. How are these kids doing? Are they fighting? Oh, they want to pretend to be. Everything's a little not. In swing. Oh, these kids are fans of him. Hello. No, oh, he's born in the orphanage. That's why what looks after the kids there. What does this guy have to say? Okay, so this place is just full of hotheads. What are they talking about? Best seats in the house, guaranteed. He's selling t tickets. Oh my goodness, this guy's so gullible. Don't mind me just barging into your house. Nobody's here, so it's not like anybody cares. Open this door right here. Nope, nothing here. Smashing pots. All right, let's head. Let's head on over and do and do this Octagonia thing. I, I think I'm tough enough to defeat them now. Got my steel broadsword plus three. Right, and we're almost there. Oh, I was supposed to sleep at the inn. Forgot my com complimentary living arrangements. Hello, man's his new partner. He's here. Said you wake you up in a time for first fight. Yeah, I'm already trying to for, for free. Yeah. Nothing like a free hotel room. Rise and shine, partner. 
time to hit the arena. Well, that was nice of him waking me up early. Rise and shine, partner. Oh, these are some other contestants. Did you hear about the fighters going missing? I heard they all got kidnapped. Fighters are getting kidnapped. Oh, they're partners. Zap, whoosh, biff, pow, got it. Biff, pow, that's a Batman reference, isn't it? Free fight prayer. Yo, he's a priest. Oh wow, I didn't know he's a priest. That's pretty impressive. Thanks for saving for me. He's a priest. All right, let's head on. Up. Let's head outwards. All right, Vince, let's go. All set. Smash some heads. Mysterious new partner, take on the Underdigger and the Abominable Showman. Teams, enter the arena. The Abominable Snow Showman. Oh, that's good. So those two guys, those are our opponents. Huh. We meet again, Underdigger. Gotta stop bumping into each other like this. Oh, give me a break, will ya? Up against a champ in the first round? I must have the worst bleeding, stinking luck in hell, bleeding, stinking world. He always says bleed, bleeding, stinking. <laughs> the worst bleeding, stinking luck. Right, you. Here's the plan. We wallop the kid first. Then we move on to Vince, alright? That way. You might actually stand a chance of getting out of here alive. Sure thing. We gotta win this easy. And then all the girls are gonna be swooning over me. <laughs> You'll see. Look at his tongue. His tongue's like just sticking right out. <laughs> Let's get ready. All right, teams. I want a nice clean bout. On my word. Here it comes, folks. Now this music. Listen to this music. The orchestral. This is the Dragon Quest IV battle theme. Oh, the Underdigger has a little character portrait. All right. It's kind of funny that they're they're unarmed and we're we got weapons and we're gonna attack them with them. So as you can see, I've got my iron shield, my steel broadsword, and I'm ready to kick some ass. Oh wow, Vince is doing a pretty good job. I love this theme song, this uh, this battle theme. All right, I don't have a lot of abilities for pumping myself up, but I do have this. Who should I attack first, the Abominable Showman or the Underdigger? I think the Showman might be weaker. I thought they were gonna attack me and not not Vince. Didn't they say that? Yeah, they're, they're wasting their moves on him. Alright. Okay, I'll keep going at him. Vince basically has unlimited HP. Nice job, Vince. Oh, he, he pepped up. Whoa. He can create doppelgangers himself. I could. Wait, wait. I can do deal with this. Oh, they're both pepped up now. They're bots. So they have a pep move. Oh, 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 
Oh no. Oh, thanks. That was nice of him. Oh, well that was not nice. Gotta heal myself. Ah, damn, okay. Hey, attack those... Oh, those guys are a pain. They are a huge pain. I'm gonna sizz them all, you know what? Nice, I got I got a bunch of them. Come on, Vince, please heal me. Nice. Vince has so much strong medicine to give me. Alright, I'm close to defeating the Abominable Showman. Keep hitting me. This is actually really fun. Oh! I just beat him a critical hit. Alright, now it's now to your turn, Under Digger. And Vince just keeps healing me. So I, just, I can keep attacking, Vince just keeps healing me. Sounds like a good arrangement. Vince is actually really tough. Nah, we beat him. Nice. The Underdigger and Abominable Showman, Showman are defeated. That's it! It's all over! Vince has done it again! Nice job, partner. You're tougher than you look. Oh, thanks. Hmm. Huh. Sounds like the next fight started already. The next fight, huh? Would you look at the kid go? She's incredible. Who's fighting? Oh, it's Eric. He's fighting against that uh that woman. That's Eric's partner. Oh, he's out. Who is this girl? I can barely keep up. <sighs> What's with the old guy? He's just standing there. Where'd she go? You do make it ever so easy. Oh, right in the face. Oh man, Eric got Eric got beaten. You're done, kid. Fight's over. Rab and Jade are the winners. Rab and Jade, those are the names of them. Heavens be praised. How are we supposed to compete with So Eric's out, huh? Admit it, Vince. Even you're impressed. Yeah, she ain't bad. She ain't bad. She just kicked Eric's ass, and he's like my toughest guy. He's like not. He's like not impressed. All right, folks. Here are the teams who'll be fighting it out for your pleasure in the final bouts. And we made it. Vince and his new sidekick prove invincible and take the title again. Invincible. <laughs> or will Rab and Jade continue their incredible run and pip the champ at the post? It's all still to play for. Come back tomorrow when the action continues. You won't want to miss it. Tomorrow. So we're finalists, it looks like. Too bad Eric didn't make it. It would be nice to fight him in the in the uh, the finals. This is huge. I lucked out getting you as my partner. We're in with the chance, you and me. Anyway, I better go. The kids will be waiting for me back at the orphanage. Oh, he seems like a good guy, doesn't he? Seems like a very pure, pure guy. Let's see what this priest dude has to say. He's a cleric, actually. 
an even tougher team in the next round. Who's the tougher team? Alright, let's go see me up with my friends. We'll see what they have to say about my victory. Oh, are they talking to Eric about him losing? Oh no. <laughs> That's funny. <gasps> Veronica, it's them. Oh. Huh? Oh, it's them. Robin Jade. Excuse me, Lassie. Would you mind standing aside? Would you mind standing aside? Uh, oh, yes, of course. Sorry. Now she's all polite all of a sudden. Keep a close eye on your partner if I were you. I'm Vince. Keep an eye on Vince? What does she mean by that? You don't think it could be anything to do with the missing people we heard about, do you? Didn't someone say that they were all competitors in the tournaments they have here? Could... Could Vince be in danger? Missing people? That's the first I've heard of it. Doesn't sound good, though. I think Vince might get kidnapped. Maybe you should go check on Vince. I don't want your partner disappearing before the big day. Yeah, that'll be really bad. All right, so we should go check up on Vince. Hey, Vegit, visit the orphanage. Yeah, I know where it is. All right, thanks, Serena. Now, where is... Wow, I'm a big hit. I got fans, apparently. Let's see what this old man has to say about me. Some of the fighters are disappearing. Oh, no. That's very suspicious. Maybe we should investigate that. There will always be a place in my heart for Cinderella, and... Wombolina is just the sweetest pie too, but I'll tell you who's really turned my head around. The girl with the long black hair. Jade. So, everyone likes Jade, huh? So many good matchups. And he's just talking about the matchups, and this guy's talking about the ladies. Uh, he was the one who was all talking about how he knows every single female fighter, wasn't he? The thing I like about Dragon Quest is that all the NPCs have distinct personalities, and this personality carry over after story events happen. So that guy's still acting like the way he's supposed to act. Oh, I'm famous. There's not a soul in Octagon, he doesn't know who I am, wow. The good lady will pos go pos positively do, do lally if I spend another penny. So, he would hire me to be his bodyguard if his wife didn't prevent him. Oh, hello there, my little friend. Her boar costume. Ask around a bit, see if we can find any more about these disappearances. Vince might be a target. All right, thanks. See you around. Oh, there's Vince. Catch you later, man. All right, so he's walking off. What was he talking about? Hey, where'd he go? Everyone's talking about me. Wow. That's cool. Wait, do I have any money? Did I get any money from that? 860, I don't think I got much more, did I? Hello? Everyone thinks Vince is gonna get kidnapped, but he better not. Hello? Wow, thanks. He thinks that I have a shot at winning. What about these guys? There you go, pal. One seat in the... One ticket for the best seat in the house. You wanna buy this lucky charm, too? These things work wonder with the Octagonian girls. Wow. And this guy's, of course, buying his crap. His old Maz advice is to trust everybody he ever meets. 
Wonder what island he's from. He's from an island? Huh, is there an island in this game somewhere? Maybe we'll find out about that later on. Huh. This game has a very interconnected world, if you haven't noticed yet. Oh, there's Vince. It's you. Man, I thought you were some creep sneaking up on He almost punched me. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... I keep hearing about fighters going missing. Kind of puts a guy on edge, you know? Didn't mean to scare you, partner. Well, it's okay, I guess. Seeing as you're here, why don't you come inside? Oh, sure. I'll come inside, check out the orphanage. Oh, very important friend, huh? I was born and raised in this orphanage, man. That's actually why I fight. Wanted to raise some money, give a little something back, you know? Oh, that's nice of him. Trouble is, fighting's all I'm good at. If I stop winning, these kids stop beating. <laughs> Won't be a problem this year, though. You and me, we're going all the way. Good to have you along for the ride, partner. At least we're fighting for a noble cause. That's good. Man, look at the time. Sorry. Once I start gabbing, I kind of find it hard to stop. Wait. Was there something you wanted to talk about? I mean, I'm guessing that's why you came to... What was that? Hey, did you hear that? It came from my room. Yeah. There it is again. There's somebody else. Someone's in his room. Oh, no, we should go check that out. A burglar. We gotta go check up on Vince. Oh no. What are those things? Man, some punks tossed my room. What kind of lowdown? Dirty thief burglarizes an orphanage anyhow. And what were they looking for? Uh, <clears throat> Just you creeps, wait! Uh, listen. We got a fight to think about. It's late. You should stay here tonight. You down with that? Uh, I don't know about that. Why would I stay here when I could stay in my safe inn, you know? <laughs> come on, man. There ain't no need to be polite enough. Oh, come on. All right. Go get some shut eye. I'll wake you when it's time to hit the arena. Okay, I guess. I'm going to be staying at the orphanage tonight. Up and at him, partner. It's fighting time. Fighting time. That's the spirit. We got a fight to get to. Alright, it's time for the next fight, everyone. That was weird. His house got burglarized in the middle of the night. What's the deal with that? Alright, how are you guys doing tonight? Just because you lost doesn't mean torment's over. You gotta get out in the crowd and cheer for your fellow fighters. I whistle you clap like this. Peep, peep, clap, clap, peep, peep, clap, clap. You think you can do that? Can I get a peep, peep? <laughs> okay, so he's still pumped up even though he lost. That's good that he has good spirit. Uh, here's my favorite priest. I know you're a priest, you told me already. Okay. Yeah, I'll go on my venture. 
All right, let's go. Hey there, partner. It's fighting time. You all set? Yeah, I'm all set to go. There's not much more I can buy. Oh, man. I wonder if my, my next opponent's going to be really tough, I heard. wonder who it's going to be. Hmm. Oh, it's these ladies. Are you ready for some more masked martial arts action? Our first fight of the day features the favorites for the title. It's the Invincibles, starring none other than reigning champion, Vince Vanquish! They'll be facing off against hometown hotties, Cinderella and Wambolina, a.k.a. the BT Queens! The BT Queens. The two ladies. <laughs> Cinderella. And I'm Wambolina. Hello, boys. Seems the girls have brought their fan club along. Well, get ready to cheer your hearts out, folks. This is gonna be a tough fight. Something tells me this is going to be about to remember. Fighters, get ready to go to war. Don't let the pretty, pretty act fool you. They made it this far. That means they can fight. Yeah, that's true. On your marks. Get set. Fight. All right, here we go. Next fight. Let's get physical. Let's get physical. Cinderella and Wembelina draw near. Alright. Oh, yeah. Don't let the cute act fool you. These babies mean business. Oh, yeah. Take this. Black and blue when I'm through with you. Oh, wow. A <laughs> sexy sword play. I almost died. Alright, so I'm pepped up. Let's go. Can I use Sizz on both of them? Nah, I can only be used on one. Who should I use it on? I think Cinderella is really tough. I gotta use it on her. Diz. Okay, I should probably heal. Or he'll heal for me, actually. Keep using Flame Slash. Don't stop. Alright, can I use Flame Slash one more time? Oh no. Thanks. That was tough. So that was their pep move where they uh, lit it up, I guess. So why is it that she can use Sizz on both of us, but I can't use Sizz on both of them? Isn't that kind of unfair if you think about it? Oh, she's almost dead. Oh, you're still in my move. Please heal me. Yes. Nice. Come on, Vince, don't fall for it. No, you're not mid-healing. No, Vince, no. Thanks. Okay. Sizzle. I'll heal myself. Nice. Missed. Nice. Sheesh. Sizzle. All right. Thanks, man. All right. Got him. No. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, heal out of magic. She's all out of magic. Nice. All right, let's do this. All right. Oh, blocked it. And she's done. Down for the count. Ha. We're going to destroy her now. Pepped up. 
Got her. Nice. We are invincible. You're invincible. Nice job, team. And we win. That's it. It's all over. The Invincibles have done it again. Well, that was a good fight. The next, the semifinals. The Invincibles! They'll be taking on a pair of dashing dark horses who surprised us all with their flair for ferocity. It's Golden Boy and Sterling Silva, a.k.a. The Bullion Boy! The the bullion boys. It's where are they? You look out below. Silvando. Huh? <laughs> so we meet at last, foul villain. I had hoped you would survive long enough to suffer at my hands. I love his fake voice, like a superhero voice. Now, time to lie back and let the great Silv... I mean, the magnificent Sterling Silva show you which of us is the better once and for all. The great voice he has. Uh, so you guys know each other? Yeah, well, you could say that. Ha! Know each other? None can know the true identity of Sterling Silva and live. Nor that of his faithful sidekick, Golden Boy. The Bullion Boy's real names will go with them to their graves. I like how into it he's getting. <laughs> These guys sure know how to put on a show. No, this fiends. We will not be holding back. Our onslaught will be merciless and swift. Huh. Likewise. What is that? He pulls the stopper out of the bottom, downs its contents in a single gulp. What is it, like an energy drink or something? Just my little pre-fight ritual. Wait a minute. Let's do this. That's a little suspicious, but okay. Looks like our fighters are ready to rumble, folks. All right, on my word. Fight! <laughs> Alright, it's us versus Silvando and the Golden Boy. Nobody beats the Bullion Boys. The Bullion Boys. These guys are real mavericks. Be on your guard, okay? I queue up now. He has his own little character. Oh, he used Miracle Slash. Sterling Silva and Golden Boy crap. Well, you know, Vince will heal me. How does he attack? See? I can always rely on him. Oh, he's using those boomerangs. Oh, I mi he missed. Alright, Silvando. You're done for. Yeesh. Thanks. Sterling Silva. Silvano's a really tough knight, which is good, which is why this is going to be kind of tough. Oh, I didn't I didn't unequip his sword, so he still has his sword. I did get rid of his his um his platter though, so he doesn't have a shield. I didn't want to sell his sword. Beans, you have met your match. It's interesting that he has uh, his like little voices in this. Oh, he's almost done. This is a lot easier than it was the first time. Whoa! All right, all right. I see where it's going here. 
Yeesh, okay. Thanks. That was that was weird. That wasn't Sil that wasn't Silvano's original voice actor, was it? That's interesting. I feel like well, I'll talk about it later. But I feel like these guys have different voice actors for their new stuff. I think I think they got some new people to do the voices. Heal me, Vince. Heal me. Oh, come on. Why is he not healing me? Okay. That almost killed me. Thanks. Jeez. Are all pepped up now? Ready to go. Alright, Vance, heal me. Heal me, buddy. Thank you. Alright. Not nice, we beat Golden Boy and Silvando. The bullion boys are defeated. That's enough. I'm calling this one. The bullion boys have been beaten. All right. Curses. The great Silva, um, uh, Sterling Silva, defeated. But I feel no shame in losing to one such as you. It was a battle of epic and legendary proportions, and I thank you for it. Good luck in the final, darling. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, he's great, Silvando. For the showdown you've all been waiting for. The grand final of the Masked Martial Arts Tournament! Here it is, the end. That's right. Just two teams remain. Invincibles, if you please. I wonder who the finalist is. They're hot favorites, folks. But will our hometown hero be able to retain his crown? Or will surprise newcomers Rab and Jade snatch glory from the reigning champ? Will the princess and the pudding please take to the stage? Princess and the pudding, that's Rab and Jade's name. The Rab's the pudding. <laughs> It's the girl who moves like lightning, and the old guy who doesn't move at all! Will they be making history here today? It's time to find out! The rap doesn't move at all. Something about these two gives me the willies. But we got this. Time for a little good luck boost. Good luck boost. Is he... Is he like like roiding up or something? Is that what that is? Like he's juicing? This is supposed to be like a WWE reference or something. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. I did. Oh yeah! Let's do this. Let's win this. He's got roid rage. That's a, that's his thing. That's his secret. Show us what you've got. Show us what you've got. This is it, folks. One last time now. Mm. <laughs> Fight! 
All right, Rab and Jade draw near. Look at Jade, she's like bouncing on one leg. No fluke these guys got this far. Jade's pretty fine. All right. Oh, he missed. These guys are really going to be tough. Rab is not doing anything, right? So it's best to to attack Jade because Rab is not going to do crap. I got to get Jade. I, I blocked it too. So you're not the only one who can... Come on, attack attack Jade, not Rab. Rab isn't going to do crap. Rab is literally just going to stand there. Let the darkness consume you. Uh, she's just assessing the situation now. No, no, no. Please heal me. Okay. Yeah, I'm still asleep. If, if she kills me. I got killed. Wow. I, I couldn't even defend myself against that. After you got knocked out, I managed to hold out for a tie. So we got a rematch on our hands. How'd you get a tie? All right, let's head downstairs and we'll buy some more equipment because I think I have enough. Yeah, I have enough. All right, we're going to have to get that iron armor now because Rob and Jade are really tough. All right, all right, let's head on over to the weapon store, and I need to go get some good weapons. Or actually, I have a good weapon. I need good armor is what I need. You manage to hold that for a tie. We have a rematch in our hands. Okay. What I need is this, but I need about 700 more gold. All right, let's sell some stuff. I don't have anything to sell though. Fine, let's sell. Resilience to shilling. I'll sell uh, Flintstone, I guess. Sleeping Hibiscus. Three of those. Alright, uh, small scale. Sell three of those. Two of those. Um, magic water. That'll actually get me enough, won't it? Lamplight, gold ore, witherwood. All right, uh, we, we we can get we can sell some more stuff. Glass fret, don't need any of that. Uh, pitch pearl. We're really close to getting what we need. All that. All right, that should be enough stuff I sold. So let's buy that armor. And wear it. Nice. All right, let's go. Hopefully, this should be enough to defeat Robin Jade now. And I'm back up. We should save here. Gonna save real quick. We're all full health, or uh, at least I'm at full health. He's tired. He's tired from all steroids he's taking. That's what he's tired from. All right, we'll skip this. Rabin Jade, draw near again. 
Or Jade, you're going down. Oh, you kicked me in the face? Alright, laddie, let's see what you're made of. Yeesh, okay. Oh, okay. Please heal me. Medicine orb. Okay, he doesn't care about healing me. No, no, no. If I die again, I swear, if I die again because of snooze. Maybe I should kill, should kill Rab first. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Oh my goodness. They're really tough. You know what? That was a lot of fighting for today. Just a save here. Alright, so you know what? I think we'll end today's episode here because that was a lot of fighting and a lot of getting our asses beat. So we'll continue next time trying to be Robin Jade uh, next episode. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time when we continue fighting in Rabbit Jade in the finals of the Mass Martial Arts Tournament. Bye.